What's up with you guys? It's your boy, West Coast. So, yo, man, I'm just looking at some things, man. And, you know, if the Dallas Cowboys are going to make some forward changes going into 2021 next year, first thing that has to happen, man, is Kellen Moore can no longer be calling plays. And to be honest with you, I think he should probably be relieved of his duties this year. Kellen Moore single-handedly with, with his play calling took this team out of position to try to win this game last night. First off and foremost, man, the running game, run the damn ball, was actually working. Now, there were several times, three to be exact, where the, we were running the ball continuously and successfully with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. Like in the third quarter, for example, we come out, we're up. Remember, we're up. We come out, we're running the ball, we're doing things good. Tony Pollard's busting, Zeke has a nice little move. Then on freaking the next third down, this dude runs a reverse pass, a reverse pass to Cedric Wilson on third down. Just totally kills the play. Then there's too many, way too many plays with Kellen Moore that are taking place behind the line of scrimmage. I made a video probably about three weeks ago, and I said, we need to stop all these plays all these plays that are being called at the line of scrimmage. And so many people said, man, West Coast, that's common sense football. Well, guess what? They're not doing common sense football. There's way too many plays that are taking place behind the line of scrimmage. I'm not even talking about at the line of scrimmage. Because we do have too many plays that, that happen, way too many plays that happen at the line of scrimmage. But we are now at the point where we are having a large percentage, even on third downs, which you guys know I am absolutely against that. On third down, if you need four, you need to be running a play that gets you five yards. Not running a play that starts negative two yards. Now your receiver has to get six yards just to get four. That makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Uh, I told you guys we had to get in here. I told you guys I wanted Ben DiNucci to only throw the ball 25 times. Well, guess what? We came out here and let this kid in his first NFL game throw the ball 40 freaking times. 40. And guess what? He missed 19 of those. Connecting on 21. I'm not even blaming Ben DiNucci. Why? Because he was a freaking rookie, man. Like, I don't want Dak Prescott throwing the ball 40 times. And now you got Ben DiNucci out here throwing the ball 40 times in a headwind. Forget that the wind is moving ridiculously. Did y'all see the video I posted of Zeke? It was re that made no sense. You're not gonna tell me that the Dallas Cowboys game plan this week was to have Ben DiNucci go in here and throw the freaking football 40 times. Well, guess what? They did. They threw the ball 40 freaking times with a with a rookie quarterback in his first game. Um, also, way too many, way too many. Way too many two tight end formation sets. There's too many formations out there when we're literally having two and three tight ends on the field. Like, man, we need to score freaking touchdowns. You guys wondering why we're settling for field goals? It's because we have tight ends on the field damn near more times than we have wide receivers. Like, we have tight ends on the field more than the damn wide receivers. We gotta cut out the twelve and the thirteen personnel. We are not going to score points like that. <sighs> trick plays, man. I love. I, I, you know what? I I like I like the trick plays. I like a trick play, bro. You this is not Madden. Listen to me. You have Ben DiNucci, Ezekiel Elliott, and Cedric Wilson all play quarterback at some point in this game. You want to know why? Because they were all trying to attempt passes from behind the line of scrimmage. All in one game. Like that doesn't make any sense at all. That doesn't make any sense at all. This was a team that this was not a good team. This Philadelphia Eagles team was not a good team. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to tell you guys like I told you guys this. I said, man, I want to see 40 rushing attempts. I want to see 40 rushing attempts. I don't care between Zeke, Pollard, everybody. Well, guess what? The Dallas Cowboys did not decide to even attempt to run Danucci into the third quarter. On all my lives, I stressed, man, I would run him first play of the game. I mean, what's the worst case that happened? He's going to get hurt? I mean, you, don't, you put another quarterback in that you've never seen play before. 
Like, I've never seen Gilbert play, so what do I have to lose? Like, this was a poorly called game from your offense. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, you 100% pissed away the best defensive game of the year. Like, one thing I say about Kellen Moore and this offensive staff, man, is they literally play every single person the same. Amari Cooper, not Amari Cooper, uh, if Tony Pollard runs Ezekiel Elliott's plays because they are not creative enough to come up with Tony Pollard's own plays. Then you have Ben DiNucci running Dak Prescott's plays because they're not creative enough to come up with Ben, ben DiNucci plays. Like, there's no element of surprise. Even though you have someone that they've never seen play, since you're going to run the exact same stuff, there's no element of surprise. Like, none whatsoever. I'm going to tell you this right now, man. Kellen Moore, man. Kellen Moore can't. There's no way Kellen Moore can be the offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys next year. There is none. I want to give you guys some power stats before I get out of here, man. Kellen Moore has been our offensive coordinator. For the last 24 games. Well, guess what? In tw in 11 of those games, we have scored less than 25 points. That is 45% of our games. We are scoring less than 25 points. Then guess what? Out of those same 24 games, out of six of those games, we've in six of those games, we've scored less than 15 points. And out of five of those games, we've scored less than 10 points. That's Kellen Moore. That's your offensive coordinator. That's your whiz kid. No, man. I don't give a damn. We need to go get someone who specializes. It's like these assassin movies. You need to, you need to go get someone to take a, 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 a you need someone a specialist. You need a specialist ninja. We need a specialist who knows how to score in the red zone. Because I'm gonna tell you, we know how to get there, but we sure don't know how to get in. We sure don't know how to get in. This was a poorly executed game. The game plan was the game plan should have been to just run the freaking ball, even on the fourth and two. Get on even on the fourth and two. Fourth and two. Line up and get a ball to Ezekiel and give it a ball to Tony Pollard. We were killing them on the inside run. And once again, we went away with it. I told you guys for the longest, the Dallas Cowboys can run the ball. It's just a matter of the Dallas Cowboys want to run the ball. Tonight showed it. This is what I saw tonight. I feel like this. I feel like Kellen Moore wants to allow the run ball to get him to the end zone, but he wants to throw and wants to be all ingenious so that he can get his approval from the fans. Just horrible play calling all around, man. Dallas Cowboys, we got to make changes going in 2021, man, especially with this play calling. Mike McCarthy, let's see what you can do. Grab the race, start calling some plays. I don't care what it is, man. You already know what it is. Never look down because the stars.